Good morning, friends and fellow traders. This is Doug Campbell with Right Way Options, and this is the Morning Market Prep video for June 22nd, 2021. Well, my goodness, yesterday we had quite the rally um, recovering the big gap that was left behind on Friday. But we didn't resolve all of the issues that need to be resolved just yet. So what does that mean for today? Well, how about we settle into our office chairs? Let's buckle up and get ready for the Tuesday edition of the Morning Market Prep video. So good morning once again, everyone. Thanks for being here. I really, really appreciate it. And thank you so much to everyone who has been clicking those thumbs up buttons, leaving comments. You guys are awesome. I truly, truly appreciate it. You know, if you continue to support this kind of content or want to continue to support this kind of content, please make sure you're, you're taking those share buttons and sharing these out on your social media feeds and passing them along to other folks that may need some help in um, defining their day. How about we take a look at these charts and see if we can decide how we want to approach the market for today. And let's take a look first. One of the things I want to point out here in the Dow is that we have broken the upside trend. So our upside trend has been damaged here and obviously we have some problems that we have to overcome in this chart. If we were to look at some price resistance levels, notice yesterday we pushed back up, we pushed back up above that price resistance level in the chart, yet we still have a very significant price re resistance level above yet to overcome. And we have this downtrend um, uh, problem that we're going to have to deal with. Now, I'm gonna clean this up here just a second and let's take a look at some other things we have a current downtrend that could provide some resistance right in this level as well so we'll want to watch that fairly carefully as we rally up into this area filling this gap is one thing um, seeing how we deal with the rest of this out here is going to be pretty interesting because a failure up here could be really problematic and really create some technical damage in the chart and i'm not suggesting that's going to happen but we definitely want to keep our eyes open for that possibility Let's take a look at our moving averages. If we look at those moving averages we'll, real quickly, you can see that we've, we're still well below our 50-day moving average. And our short-term averages, the 8, the 34, the 20, are all coming down here to um, create a level of price resistance in the chart or a bit of a short squeeze that not a short squeeze a moving average squeeze that could affect us in trying to pop back through so the diamonds at least at this point remains the weakest of the indexes and the most challenged here on technical patterns so we'll want to watch that closely um, if diamonds were to reverse or see another bear attack that could certainly have an effect on the rest of the indexes let's take a look at the spy now the spy did a nice job of recovering yesterday as well notice that we ran up here and we filled that gap here in the chart but we still have some challenges here to deal with let's notice that we still have significant levels of price resistance in this chart that need to be overcome and whether or not we can push on through that's the question in the chart we also want to recognize the fact that I don't know if there's too many other ways that you can draw this chart um, that we broke that upside trend and now we're coming back up here and we could run into these price resistance levels and that trend um, um, area right here where we could kind of end up with that little bit of a double whammy right here of price resistance in the chart. So let's watch that carefully. How we transition right in here could be really, really important. And I wouldn't rule out the possibility that the bears are starting to become a little bit, a little bit more emboldened um, in um, their activities because of the inflationary concerns and things like that. So watch for the possibility that we could have entrenched bears up here ready to defend or prepared 
to defend these levels. Watch that carefully. And we also want to make mention that yesterday was good enough that we crossed right back above that 50 day moving average. That is a good sign. Now, remember, once we break a support level and we cross back above, that does not necessarily signify a buy. Remember, we made new lows here in this price action. So what has to happen here to correct this price action is we now, after we've crossed back through, we need a either a rest, a consolidation, or a pullback to prove that we're going to hold that higher level of support before we might see some confidence in this. Remember, we can easily cross through a 50 day moving average. And as a matter of fact, a lot of tops happen this way where we'll break down through those averages, rally back above, make everybody think that all clear has been sounded. And then we end up seeing that bearish attack from these resistance levels up here push us back down. So watch that close and be really, really careful about chasing stocks that are already up significantly on yesterday's move as we approach those resistance levels. That could be a little bit problematic. So watch that closely. Now let's take a look at the NASDAQ. The NASDAQ remains the strongest index in the market and it's it's really kind of unbelievable in a high inflationary environment this is not what you would expect to see you would not expect to see techs that have very high sensitivity to inflation um, leading the market but that's what we've got going and um, we had big tech pushing strongly yesterday um, trying to push things higher here but we did have a little bit keeping this in check just a little bit was a semiconductor sector that had kind of a rough day yesterday as China cracks down on crypto and crypto mining that's having an effect on that sector. So right now we have the QQQ holding up in a very strong bullish trend, breaking through resistance levels, holding in a nice bullish pattern. And that possibility that we could continue to extend, extend on up having that NASDAQ move on up. Now, a couple problems coming into play this morning. We know we have that crackdown in China on those areas. We also have some of the giant techs already in relatively extended positions in the short term. And then we just heard that um, this morning that Europe is opening another antitrust investigation into Google. Big tech is kind of becoming under attack around the world. Um, and threats um, here, even in the United States, of some major changes coming to how they um, hey, how they are viewed and how um, they are able to perform in um, these countries. So watch that closely. So watch this up here as we try to progress and push on through um, that challenge um, that this has. Being the leader of the market is always a fun place to be but it's always the place where you know um, those elevated can tend to be one of those that falls the hardest if it does reverse so just watch that closely trend is bullish then let's take a look at iwm iwm also recovered back above its 50-day moving average but we have to admit there are significant levels of price resistance in this chart to deal with you can see as we rally back up, we're dealing with some of those price resistance levels right now. We're testing those areas right in here on those charts, but we still have significant price resistance levels that we need to get through if we're really going to change the outcome of this chart. Let's watch that carefully. This would be one that I would be watching for that possibility of a bit of a bearish activity to come in not saying it's going to push us all the way back down, but that possibility that those bears could be a little bit entrenched here and push us back for at least a test of that 50 day moving average of support before we bounce off or a bit of a consolidation in rest after such uh, big moves. Maybe we need, maybe we just need to pause a little bit and go sideways to spill off some of this emotion of these big 600 point swings that we saw in the Dow. So watch that carefully. Let's take a look at our VIX this morning. 
and our VIX had a great pullback yesterday. So this is a really good sign for the bulls that fear is dropping out. Now, one of the things you always have to worry about once we start reaching down here in these lower levels of the VIX is that we might be coming a bit complacent as well. These big price swings that we're seeing and fear swings that we're seeing in the market the last couple of days clearly display the fear and the, uh, I should say, the emotion that we have in the market right now. Now, that emotion can explode in any direction. And what that means to me is that 600-point swings don't provide the swing trader or the position trader a whole lot of certainty in holding on to any edge because of those big price swings. So we want to be a little bit careful uh, to make sure that we're placing our trades in in very um, strongly supported stocks don't be chasing stocks into price resistance because we still have this question in here we're holding right there around that 50-day moving average it's great that we pulled back we still have that question where we have that possibility we could create that higher low here in the vix so watch that closely we want to see this continuing to drift down and breaking down not finding support and bouncing back higher so that's where some real selling could come in if it were to occur in the market so watch that close then let's take a look at our t2122 now the t2122 we went from um, a bearish reversal zone right in here where we were oversold in the short term um, to a you know extreme reversal back up. A big whipsaw is what we actually saw between Friday and, and Monday. We didn't really resolve a whole lot. Um, we filled the gap of Friday, but we didn't break through those gaps and we still have overhead resistance above. But what's notable in here is with that big bounce back, I want you to note how quickly we've come right back up here. Now this is that bearish reversal zone up here. If we can continue to get some follow through to the upside, we still have price resistance levels above and that possibility that we're reaching an overbought condition, at least in that short term. So we'll want to keep a close eye on that. These big price swings that we're seeing in here, these all or nothing market, we either running chasing into stocks, um, extreme speculation, or we're running for the doors. So just be careful with that and realize that when we have those, that kind of price action, your edge is, well, you're really moving into that gambling area because you cannot hold on to much of an edge. There's a lot of uncertainty out there as to where we go next. So just watch that carefully and closely. We could easily continue to move on up. We could easily see those breakthroughs here in some of those resistance levels. And then we're going to be running right into that bearish reversal zone again. So um, keep a close eye on that. And then another perplexing thing, um, T2101, the absolute breadth indicator. I want you to notice here, I'm going to go to the price action um, chart on this. And notice that yesterday um, we had a little bit of follow through to the upside here um, on that move in breadth. But notice that it didn't last. It, it, it actually showed some weakness here. T2101. Um, on the upside swing seems to be running out of energy really, really quickly. And if we take a look at that, notice that we're just struggling in here on our T2101. That breadth um, is just having a very difficult time uh, moving along. So watch that carefully. I'm not sure what that means. Um, what we did notice is that we surged up pretty hard in the cell wave and then yesterday just kind of flattened out a little bit on that so um, anything is possible here continue to watch that breadth continues to be a problem momentum continues to be a problem so watch carefully let's take a look at our economic calendar for today and our economic calendar has Something that we want to pay attention to here this morning, we have existing home sales coming in. Um, right now, consensus is su suggesting con um, existing home sales could come in just a little bit lighter than last month. 
we're still seeing those high prices in housing having a little bit of effect on the market. Let's watch that closely. If it were to miss uh, badly, that could create some fluctuations in the market. But if it comes in um, anywhere close to this number, um, um, the expectations, we should be pretty good overall. Um, keep in mind, not much else the rest of the day um, in that um, um, economic calendar. Um, let's take a look at our earnings calendar. Now, our earnings calendar is also relatively light. We have only eight companies um, on the list today um, expected to report, but um, half of those aren't even verified. And of those half, there really are only a couple maybe notables. Take a look at um, KHY. KH, whoops. KFY, KFY, this is reporting this morning, nice breakout here, KFY, um, perking up. So you can see, um, see right here, this is the pre-market candle. Looks like they had a good earnings report. Trying to work for a breakout here in this chart. We've been in this lo long-term choppy consolidation here. So that could be bullish for this chart. Keep an eye on that. And then plug power. This one, um, kind of interesting, keep a close eye on this as this one reports. This is in a nice technically bullish buy pattern. And I've been keeping a fairly close eye on this. How this reports is going to be important. Watch that closely. Now, also keep in mind, Plug Power has slid its report two or three times already. Um, so they seem to be struggling getting the work done here. But watch that close. Um, if it does report, um, there may be some good response in here in that chart. So keep an eye on plug this morning. Let's take a look at some stocks that could be setting up. But before we do that, guys, if you could do me a quick favor, if this is the first time you've seen these videos, please click that subscribe button on YouTube and also click that bell icon when it pops up so that you'll be notified every time I post one of these videos. And also, I just want to say thank you and, and request that you continue to do this. Continue to click those thumbs up buttons. Continue to leave comments. That engagement makes a big difference. Uh, the more engagement that we have, the more we um, get the algorithm to show these videos to more folks and we continue to grow the channel. We just went over 21,500, so thank you everyone. Um, never in my wildest dreams would I have expected that many folks out there would be looking for this kind of content. So please, please also do me a favor, click that share button and share these videos out on your social media feed. And thank you so much to everyone who is supporting the channel with a buy me a coffee link just below the title of the video. You don't have to be a member of Right Way Options or Hit and Run Candlesticks to support the channel. Um, the Buy Me a Coffee allows you to support the channel, and I thank so many for, um, for doing that. It just means the world to me. Let's take a look at um, the stocks setting up today, and let's see what we've got going here. Um, a member brought me this stock yesterday, one of the members of Right Way Options, and I think this is a really nice looking chart. Take a look at TAN. Now TAN has been breaking down. This is the solar ETF. We've been breaking down into this trend and we've started this up move right in here. Notice we broke through some nice price resistance in the chart. Now we're just kind of resting right out here. So I placed a price alert on this chart. I'm going to wait and see if that can, as it moves over here toward trend, watch for that opportunity to pop on through to the upside. You might also want to look at um, like First Solar. First Solar kind of setting up that same kind of pattern, a little bit choppier in its price action moves, as you can see, but breaking that downtrend, starting to work in that uptrend move. We still have some resistance levels in this chart that need to be overcome, but watch for that opportunity that that could start perking on through, moving on up as some of these green energies try to pick back up. Another place you might want to be taking a look at, take a look at energy. Now, energy suffered a massive blow Thursday and Friday, but we surged back pretty strongly here 
um, yesterday. And I think it's worth keeping an eye on because what we know about inflation is that energy prices are one of those areas that typically continue to rally in that um, activity. So watch this here. Now, I wouldn't want to chase this right now as we push right into price resistance of the chart. So watch that carefully. If this consolidates here and then pops on through, there may be an opportunity. If it can push on through up here and gain, regain that support and hold as support, then there may be some opportunities. So keep an eye on some of those energy stocks. And I did see some energy stocks yesterday actually recovering um, their support levels. So take a close look at that sector. There may be stocks that are ready to go we're about ready to go in um, those charts. Um, take a look at Fubo. I don't know if anyone is trading Fubo like I am. Um, I have a bias here on this chart, but we had a nice move in this yesterday. Um, I know a lot of the members of RWO just went ahead and took profits yesterday, which there's no problem with doing that. Um, taking a win is taking a win. We'll watch this in here. I actually covered this trade with a short call um, looking for a little bit more follow through. Don't know that I'll get it, but watching this carefully. Fubo um, looking pretty good. Keep a close eye on that chart. I'm also still holding a box. Now, box hasn't really gone anywhere. I'm waiting for a little bit of inspiration to occur here in that chart. It attempted a couple of times yesterday to get something going just wasn't a whole lot of energy in it. Let's keep a close eye on that. Breaking through, we're out here at our trend area. This is about the time we would wanna see those buyers step in. So watch that closely, see if this can pop up and get moving or not. Um, and please keep in mind, guys, that if I'm in a trade, I, I, ha I have to honestly say that I have a bias on the trade. So just because I like this chart doesn't mean that you have to or that you see something in this chart um, as um, not, so, not so stellar as to what I see. But um, keep a close eye on that. Other place you might want to look, take a look at space. Space continues to consolidate here, this nice little tight consolidation. Now this rallied super, super strong, so it may have to continue to consolidate here for a while. But notice we broke through this nice little resistance level in the chart. We're holding it as support. We're just looking for that next inspiration in here for that to maybe pop on through, start moving back up again. Watch that close in that chart. Take a look at the financials. Now financials um, just got hammered down. And if you want to be looking for short trades, you might want to start looking in some of this, uh, the financial sector. Notice that we have a downtrend going on here and we broke some significant levels of price support. So as this rallies back, if we put in any kind of a failure pattern up here, watch for that possibility that those financials as we rally back could start to fail down along that downtrend. Watch that closely. Um, if you're looking for some short trades, struggling here a bit in those charts. Um, I'm gonna bring up iHeart here as the last one. iHeart, I mentioned this one yesterday, actually popped following through this morning. Keep a close eye on that. Now this one, the options in it are terrible. This really becomes more of a stock trade. But keep a close eye on that as we continue to perk up in here. So with that, everyone, hey, I want to wish you all a fantastic day. I want to wish you great results in your trading. Thank you so much for watching. I truly appreciate it. And we'll see you right back here bright and early Wednesday morning. Have a good one, everyone.